Hi guys, this is Vidas and today I'm going to do a special video about uh, connecting uh, uh, external uh, MIDI keyboard uh, from uh, from your Android phone to Hauptwerk and controlling uh, maybe uh, some, some uh, pistons. Uh, because uh, you see at home I have this Hauptwerk set up for keyboards and pedal board but no basically no no pistons uh, to change so i i can effectively you know to to uh, to use sequencer programming uh, one of those uh, extreme right range keys like c and b forward and uh, backward or here are some some uh, uh, midi keyboards on the keyboard uh, uh, on the left side I can also do that but they are quite uh, far to reach so my my idea was to figure out a way to put something um, in the middle of the keyboard like a piston right to attach and um, right now I'm ha I have this flick uh, smart button right here flick 2 it's called uh, which can control basically anything which has Bluetooth connection uh, switch uh, on the lights, the smart lights, uh, or uh, play music player on your phone, something like that. And if uh, you play YouTube video, anything. So, so my thought, initial thought was to use this as an external piston. Attach it to the keyboard, or let's say here, or here below the first keyboard, like a sequencer, right? So in order to do that, it has to read MIDI signals, MIDI signals, and it, it uh, second generation of flick buttons can do that. Okay, I have several of them, and um, I'm programmed to use uh, uh, with my phone, but uh, so far I have been only able to do uh, to achieve 50% uh, of the job, basically to control Hauptwerk. Um, sequ sequencer, sequencer pistons right through my phone not through the button yet but I'm not giving up I just have to configure it out a little bit better so what I've done here is my phone and here is um, a program called MIDI keyboard yeah from the App Store and um, I installed it and what I did, I connected this uh, uh, with my phone. I connected uh, MIDI to USB cable to my uh, external audio uh, sound card, Steinberg uh, uh, UR22C. Basically, uh, it doesn't matter which, you ha which one you have or which one I have, it, it does come with MIDI out and MIDI in ports. That's important. So I connected uh, one end of the MIDI cable to the to the MIDI socket uh, in the in the audio interface, and now uh, through the help of this adapter, I connected another end uh, to USB port of this adapter, and. Uh, now I'm able to connect this uh, MIDI cable to my Android phone, all right? And I configured uh, this MIDI keyboard on the phone to, uh, to um, basically uh, achieve and listen to uh, MIDI output on the uh, Steinberg interface. So. So now I configured the middle C, C4 button to serve as a sequencer. You know, like to assign as any, any, any key on any keyboard, you can, you can uh, auto-select it, right, on Hauptwerk, and it would work um, as a sequencer. Uh, I use it the uh, C on the right, which is rarely used in music, uh, to, 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 as a forward button. Uh, next to it B as a backwards button, right? Stepper, plus and minus. So what I did, I did the same thing, um, only for this MIDI 
keyboard on my phone, I've configured uh, middle C, C4 as a stepper plus and uh, B3 uh, key next to the C4 as the stepper minus. Let me demonstrate how it sounds. I have uh, loaded Velasova sample set right here. It's very beautiful two manual organ. And here is the combination uh, stepper general number one, number zero. I have on the on the grade two stops, principal eight and roar float eight, two stops. Here is how it sounds, right? Let me play it just a little bit. Beautiful reverberation, beautiful Baroque organ from Slovenia, Velasova. So, let me pull, pull in this window and here I can now effectively change my sequencer stepper plus with the push of the button, right? Here. I pressed C4 and it goes forward. Stepper 1, stepper 2, stepper 3, stepper 4, or uh, B, the key B, uh, B3. It goes minus 1, right? So, one more time with the sound demonstration. This is uh, stepper general 0. And now, with the push of the button, I have principal chorus with mixture combination set up in advance, right? I can do this effectively with, with a number of ways on my organ. Uh, pushing, let's say, pedal, foot pedal. I have the pedal right here. Change. I'm pressing the foot pedal. But uh, I can also do with this button, right, B, it goes backwards, or C, forward, right, backward, backward, forward, backward, you see, it's, it's, uh, it works wonderfully, uh, I can configure any key on, on those four keyboards, right? Or even um, additional, uh, those, those additional keyboards, uh, buttons right here. But the problem is that they are far away, a little bit far away from the middle of the keyboard where I normally play, right? And if, if I want to push a button right here with my thumb, it needs to be somewhere in the middle. Right. So my initial idea, as you understand, was to configure this, this, uh, this flick button to attach it either to here, right, or to here, below the, the first keyboard maybe, and to work it as a stepper, stepper plus and stepper minus. So far I haven't been able to do this, but as you can see, it's possible to do uh, to control uh, MIDI Hauptwerk uh, uh, keys with this uh, MIDI Android keyboard, right? And I've been able to attach it through, through various cables uh, and get it to work through the Steinberg audio interface. So that's, I think, 50% uh, of the job dub done now. Uh, what's left is for me to figure out how to set up this flick flick button smart button and uh, set up it in this way that it would read MIDI signals right and effectively change uh, stepper registration with a push of a button in the middle of the keyboard where I can attach it in a very convenient place that's my assignment for 
for in for the near future maybe I can figure out if you uh, know the answer you have some ideas please help me out here because I really appreciate your feedback and leave me a comment uh, we can figure out something and I can I can make another video uh, with the solution really appreciate so this is my half track setup if you want to get to know it better my pedal board my everything my key keyboards my interfaces you can go to the description of this video where I have the link available to my half track setup page and uh, uh, with uh, with uh, description and photos and videos there so uh, it's uh, on organduo.lt slash tools you can find it there thank you guys this was with us it was really fun configuring android uh, midi keyboard to work with Hauptwerk. and now actually i have the f five five keyboards not four right five <laughs> five keywords I always dreamed of five I can actually uh, effectively uh, uh, let it rest right here on the music rack right and that would be my fifth keyboard if I want it if I needed to few <laughs> one more so that's a great idea but that's something for the next time thank you guys this was with us I'll catch you online in the next video very soon. Bye for now.